everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Are you ready for round two of lipstick testing? Well, I hope you are because I have some great lipsticks. This round I have seven lipsticks that I've tested and um, we will see how they wear, uh, how they perform on mature lips, how they feel, if they're drying, what the ingredients are, and all that good stuff. So this is really a thorough vetting of each of the products. Now, um, as I always do, I like to level the playing field for the product. So I don't give any of them preferential treatment by using primers or lip liners or anything else like that with them. You know, everything looks great on the models and in the advertising, but it only has to look great for a couple of seconds until they snap the picture. They also have professionals who are putting on all those uh, primers and uh, liners and making it look perfect. In real life, what I think the average person does is they want to buy a product, um, you know, put it on, sometimes on the go, sometimes looking in a car mirror or something, uh, be able to get it on their lips the right way, <laughs> and have it last a reasonable amount of time without doing some horrible things that us mature ladies hate, like creeping up into our vertical lip wrinkles, or making our lips look older or worse in general, or being terribly drying. So those are sort of my criteria. Some of these are long wearing lipsticks, some are mattes, some are liquid. I just throw them all in together and give you my results. What I do is I apply each lipstick on camera for you to see how it goes on. I come back and I show you how it wore after three hours, six hours, and nine hours. Some of these will not have the nine hour showing in them because the lipstick certainly didn't last longer than six. So if it was completely worn off by six, I didn't do the nine, obviously, because there was nothing new to see. I am wearing the winner today, and um, I think I'm going to talk about these like I usually do in order from worst leading up to best. All right, so starting off with the one that performed the worst in this round of testing that I was so disappointed in because this came highly recommended by someone whose opinion I really value. This was the Obsessive Compulsive Lip Tar Matte. The color I got it in was Trollop, and uh, they have such clever little color names. It This one that I bought was a $10 sample kit at the register line at Sephora because they didn't have the color that I wanted on the shelf anyway, but it normally retails for $18 and it comes in 43 shades. That's a lot. Um, the marketing on this is that it's a liquid matte lipstick with unparalleled pigment intensity and wear time. It contains organic hemp oil and soy derived vitamin E and it's paraben free courtesy of refreshing peppermint oil. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Alright, so let me bring in the video of me putting it on for the first time. Today's lip is by Obsessive Compulsive. It's the Lip Tar in Matte and this is in the color Trollop. It comes with a little brush to put it on with. Okay, trying to decide the best way to apply this stuff, so I decided to put a little dollop on my finger, so that's what the color looks like, and then dip the brush in to get some, because I don't want to end up with too much on the brush and, you know, have it be all goopy. Ah, oh, this brush is tiny. Good thing I went to art school with this one. Um, all right, that was difficult. All right, I'm going to try to just dab it on with my finger on the bottom lip. Ah. Not sure that that was a better idea. Okay, so this was way, way, way too much. So anyway, I did finally manage to get it on. Even after all that, the coverage was not complete. Um, there are gaps and thin spots in it, so it wasn't completely opaque, and so I feel like the blueness in my lips changed the color from more of an orangey pink to just a true pink. Um, it takes time to set up and finally turn matte. It took about a good half hour for it to set up and finally turn matte, but during that time, you shouldn't press your lips together because it'll be ruined, and don't eat, drink, or kiss anyone because it'll be on them. So now let me bring in the three hour, six hour, and nine hour wear videos. And so for the wear, in this one, I'm sorry to say, 
<laughs> my notes say awful, just awful. Um, it crept up into my lip lines within the first five minutes of having it on. Aside from that little bit of loveliness, it settled into my lower lip creases after about an hour. It stayed goopy and transferred all over cups and people and fingers and my chin when I ate a sandwich. Um, it wore very unevenly and gathered up at the inner edges of my lips and then it got worse as the day go as the day went on so that I had you know some spots that had a lot of color and some spots that had no color and then big gloopy things. Um, it was fairly drying but um, I gotta say <laughs> the color lasted well for seven hours but sadly it didn't look good for even five minutes. Could not wait to take this off but it lasted forever. It's not like my lip wrinkles are even that big, but this just accentuated everything that was wrong with my lips. So let's move on to the second to the worst product. The next lipstick is a liquid lipstick by Stila. This is the Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Patina. Uh, this costs $22 and it comes in 10 shades. The marketing on this is that it's a creamy matte full coverage lip color and stays in place for up to six hours of continuous wear. And its color rich formula will not bleed or transfer. It's enriched with vitamin E and avocado oil, softens the lips so they look and feel beautiful. So let's go to the application video. Today's lipstick is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is a liquid lipstick, so it comes with a doe foot applicator wand. It feels great going on. It's very silky, but difficult to apply because it is so opaque. This one truly is an opaque liquid lipstick. Um, but you must use a mirror to be apply it, to apply it and be very careful with the edges. And it dries very quickly, so you don't have a lot of time to work it. Because it does dry back, it makes the lips look very wrinkly. But the color is very true and very intense and very opaque. And the color stays put. Once it's dried down, there is no feathering, no settling, and it lasts perfectly for four to five hours. They said it wouldn't feather and it wouldn't um, settle and that it would look beautiful and it says for six hours of continuous wear. I did not get six hours of continuous wear out of it. I got four hour, four to five hours of beautiful wear and then it started to deteriorate and it looked bad after that. It started crusting up around the corners of my mouth and the inner edges of my lips and it was very uncomfortable to wear. It was so drying that I could not wait to get it off. So um, unfortunately their claim that it softens the lips so they look and feel beautiful was not the case. It actually left my lips really dry and really crackly. So overall I thought this one had an amazing opaque um, lip color that had good staying power, that it stayed and looked great for four to five hours. Uh, but it was too drying and uncomfortable for me to actually consider it a serious contender, so that's why it was the at the second to the bottom position. All right, the next product and the third to worst, another real disappointment because this was another of the high-end products, is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. This is in the color Juliet. This retails for $32, so it's the most expensive one in this round of testing. It comes in 40 shades, and all the shades are named after iconic women. Uh, the marketing on this says that it is a one-stroke, full-coverage, creamy wear lipstick. It's enriched with ingredients to smooth and nourish the lips, and that it's long-lasting. All right, let me bring in the application video. Today's lipstick is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Juliet. All right, for me, this one was very pigmented, but not completely opaque. It had a creamy texture that glides over the lips, but doesn't leave complete uh, color coverage. It's not sticky, and it felt nice on the lips. All right, so now let me bring in the wear videos, the three, six, and nine hours, and we'll see how it wore. So this lipstick needs time to set up before you can eat, or else it wears right off and transfers all over the place. But given time to set, the color lasts about three to four hours. 
but sadly it didn't look good on me from the get-go. It's not that it was a bad color, I love the color, but it travels into the vertical lip lines, it settles into the bottom lip creases, it makes the lips look wrinkly, and it wears off unevenly. I found it to be very drying, and I found that it leaves behind a coating of glitter flakes all over my lip. So my overall summary of the NARS Audacious lipstick is that it's audaciously bad. <laughs> Naughty NARS, very naughty to make me pay $32 for a lipstick that did all the things that I hate when a lipstick does it. Moving on, the lipstick that took the number four spot and is therefore in the very center of the pack is Rimmel London Lasting Finish by Kate Moss Lipstick in color number 08 Rosetto. This retails for $4.75 and it comes in nine shades. Now the marketing on this is that, that it has high intensity color for up to eight hours. Formula infused with black diamonds. Woo! Reflects light like never before. Captures all the flare, edge, and timelessness of Kate's unique look. Um, black diamonds in a $4.75 lipstick. Interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. I don't know. Am I supposed to fall for that? Oh, silly. Anyway, let me bring in the application video. Today's lipstick is Lasting Finish by Kate. That's the color. This lipstick glides on the lips, but it's not as soft and creamy as some of the others. It's more of a silky texture that's a little bit tacky at first. It has a low luster sheen, that I guess that comes from those black diamonds in there, that's very wearable for older lips. It does have a scent, it's kind of a soft herbal scent, but it dissipates quickly. I don't think I only have three and six hour wear videos in this one. It didn't last long enough for nine, so let me bring in those and show you what it looked like. On this one, the color wore for three hours, but it was all worn off after the first meal. It ran into my vertical lip lines and created that horizontal wrinkling on the upper lip. It felt drying after three hours and the lips were peeling after six hours. So this one I wrote overall, it was just okay, which I guess is why it's in the middle. Nothing terribly horrible nothing terribly great either. So now we're breaking into the top three. So third from the best was Maybelline Color Sensational Creamy Mattes in number 660 Touch of Spice. This retails for $7.49 and it's available in 10 shades. So what the marketing says is that as they deliver a burst of bold lip color and a surge of creamy texture for mattes your lips will love to wear. Um, okay, great. So let me bring in the application video and see if my lips love to wear it. Today's lipstick is Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Touch of Spice. Uh, it was a drier formula going on, but it went on nicely, but it is not creamy. And it's not sticky either, so that was good. It has a soft vanilla scent that dissipates quickly. The opaque color coats the lips and looks nice and smooth. So now let me bring in the wear videos for, I think the three and six hours, I don't think this one lasted nine. Uh, the color wore well for two and a half hours on this one. So this one was the shortest wearing out of all of them. It does not last through even one meal. So this one would need to be reapplied quite frequently. Um, but there was no settling and no feathering, which is a big boost in my book. It did not feel drying while I wore it. So overall, it's, it was a beautiful color with a great matte finish, very opaque, and it looked really good for the short time that it lasted. So moving on to the top two. So the second to the best in this round is Bite Beauty Luminous Lipstick in Musk. Now in this one I got a $12 two-ended sample size at uh, Sephora in the register queue. Normally this retails for $24 and it comes in 30 shades. So the marketing on the Bite lipstick is that it is a lush, long-lasting, moisture-rich moisture, moisture -rich lip color. That each lipstick contains the amount of resveratrol found in five glasses of red wine. And that it contains, no, this whole list is what it does not contain parabens, sulfates, phthalates, synthetics, polybutenes, and petroleum byproducts. It is made with food grade ingredients that are healthy enough to eat. All right, so let me bring in the application video and you can see how this one went on. For today's lipstick, I'm going to try the Bite Beauty uh, Luminous Cream Lipstick. The lighter side is called Lychee and the darker side is called Musk. So I'm gonna try the Musk side.
This one was very easy to apply. It's nice and creamy. It feels great on the lips. The color is semi sheer and it has a low luster finish. It's not sticky or goopy. It does have a little bit of a waxy scent. All right, now let me bring in the wear videos, the three hours and the six hours. There is no nine hour video on this. This um, did not feather or settle into lines and wrinkles. So it made my lips look nice and young the whole time that it, it um, was on there. The color lasted three and a half hours through one meal and was completely worn off by six hours. It was comfortable to wear and non-drying. So compared to their marketing, it is lush. It is not particularly long lasting, but it is moisture rich. All right, here we go. The winner, the envelope, please. The winner is Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Color in number 970 Purdy Persimmon. This retails for $1.99. It comes in 26 different shades and there are a few that are um, limited edition. I think there's four limited edition shades as well that you can get. All right, here is what the marketing says about it. It's a four hour long wearing lip color that leaves a semi matte creme finish in one stroke. It glides on easily with rich velvety color that doesn't cake, feather, or bleed. Made with hydrating skin care ingredients like hyaluronic microspheres and natural marine plant extracts, coenzyme Q10 and vitamins A and E helps smooth lips. So I was really amazed that for $1.99 they had vitamin A, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10 in there and hyaluronic acid and uh, marine plant extracts. I was like, wow, that is quite an ingredient list. So that was terrific. So I said, well, if this thing would actually wear decently and look good, it would be amazing. And guess what? It is. <laughs> So um, let me bring in the application video and show you how it applies. Today's lipstick is Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. As stated in the marketing, this is a creamy formula that glides on easily, leaving a semi-opaque, semi-matte, comfortable finish. Now let me bring in the wear videos for the three, six, and nine hours. The color wore through six hours. It wore through two meals, cup of tea and a snack. There was slight feathering into my one, my deepest lip wrinkle, you know, the vertical one, but there was no settling into the um, other lines on the lips. And in the nine hour view video, you can see there's still a little bit of the stain left on the lips and it wasn't hideous, you know, it didn't make horrible things happen. Um, it was slightly drying just because it lasted for so long and <laughs> my poor lips went nine hours without any lip balm. Um, so overall, Wet n Wild is in the top mainly because for $1.99 that it had such amazing wear uh, is really great. So you can make a lipstick that has terrific ingredients, that performs really well, and looks good. All right, so that's it for today. That is this round of lipstick testing. I hope that um, everyone has a chance to run out and grab some of these Wet n Wild uh, lipsticks, these Mega Last lipsticks for $1.99. You cannot beat it. I think this is the greatest lipstick I've ever tried on. And, uh, and the price just makes me smile. So that's it, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your time. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.